Asante. Uh, kwa leo nimekuwa na incident ambaye sikukuwa na tarajia mambo kama hayo kwa sababu haya mambo imetokea hiyo shamba hapa chini ya mbiva. Ni shamba nimekomboa kwa mtu naitwa Kanyili. Na hiyo shamba nimekomboa nimekomboa from 2018. That's 5 years. Nimekuwa kwa hiyo shamba nimekuwa nikilima nimekuwa nikipanda chakula changu bila kuwa na shida sosote lakini leo nipo pita hapo jana kwa sababu nina mashamba mengi ya kukomboa lakini nilipofika jana nikaona hiyo shamba imechelewa kulimwa nikaambia watu wangu leo lazima waende walime hiyo tuanze kupanda urgently na wakati walienda wakaanza kulima haikuwa na furugu yoyote lakini wakati niliingia tu namna hii nikashuka kuangalia vile inalima watu zaidi ya hamsini waliamkia mimi wengine wakiwa na shoka na ina haki kwa sababu ya kusema ukweli one of the social media don't on NTV ama ni KTN imeonekana nikikimbizwa na shoka so swali langu ni kuwa Shamba wakati ya kulima hakuna pahali shoka na kulala ikifanya kazi. Na sasa na mawe hiyo shamba umekuwa huko haina mawe. So kulikuwa na mpangilio ya watu kuwa na mawe na kuwa na, na shoka. Na nashukuru kwa sababu nyenye ndio umerekodi hiyo moyo mtu akinikimbiza akiwa na shoka. I was running away. But when he came with the act I kwa nataka kunipiga na shoka is when I had to protect myself. I pulled my gun. Na inashukuru sana security officer wangu. Kwa sababu alirudi alikuwa karibu sana na mimi. Na alipoona shoka imechukuliwa juu, aliweza kusukuma mimi. Shoka haiwezi haikuweza kunifikia. Lakini ya pili kuna mtu ambaye amejeruhiwa kidogo na disasi na anasema ile sijui kama ni ukweli amesema yeye alikuwa na protect mimi yeye ndio alikuwa anazuia hiyo alizuia hiyo shoka kunikata i don't know because there were many ama anajaribu kuji kuji defend so i don't know but the police will find out the the nini the truth lakini if he was defending me na mimi singejua kwa sababu alikuwa watu wengi kama aliweza kupata hiyo majiraha then it is unfortunate. And I would say sorry because I was defending myself. Shoka kama inakuja kukuangukia na, na mapanga, mwili yangu nimepigwa na, ma, na mawe, most of my bodies. But I have gone in the hospital, nimekuwa checked, nimepigwa shindano, mkono yangu hii munaona, nimekuwa na bruises, nimekatika ndani ya mkono ndani. Pahaji nilikuwa na mawe hapa, 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 hapa nyuma. Uh, I went to the hospital, the X-ray, x here, the receipts of the hospital, they are all here. Then the Miritibiwa, the Nafurai kwa hospital yetu ya Mirukumi, walichukua nini ya teharaka sana. Na hata hawa wengine, kuwana sana mii sina shida, hata wale wengine, walio kuwa wakiniumiza, we have provided for them also. Yes, hospitali. Yeah. My people have gone around. They want to say, they have to sort out the bills. Because I have to say, 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 but I have to say, 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 I
wachunguzi wajue ni nani na ni kwa nini na kama itakuwa hiyo mtindo kwa kila pahali kwa mashamba then it looks we are going to be in a very big problem so mimi sina shida lingine na sina ubaya and even now hata wale wameniumiza bali nitasema tu kama Yesu bila isema nitawasamea kwa sababu wajui ni kitu gani walikuwa wakifanya kama walitumia kwa pesa kidogo hii natumia kila siku I think that is my stand lakini tuachie polisi wachunguze then they tell us the truth but I also like maybe to request you na mmefanya mzuri watu wa media muwe balanced balance ya kuangalia maneno on the both side kwa sababu tazaa inaweza mtu mmoja mnaumiza mtu na pengine ndio ameumizwa so it is good just as you have looked for me so you can get the story from the from the both sides and also you follow from the police to know exactly the truth kwa sababu msipofanya namna hiyo tutaweza kueneza mambo ambaye ya kukodemu mtu ambaye si ukweli so mfuatilie muweze kujua ukweli ya mambo na nipangilio gani ilikuwa iko I, i think for now that's what i can say and it is really unfortunate kwa sababu hiyo shamba nimelima miaka 5 nina agreement zangu za hiyo shamba Kanyele is also coming we wanted to meet you ali watafuta wakati mwisema mnakuja the owner of the land ambaye anasema amenikondesha na ni hiyo so is a document ataonesha title deed yake how he got that land and it has not been having any dispute lakini sasa inaletoa mambo mengine ambaye tunachanganya mambo mingi ambaye haitajiki kuchanganywa na mna hiyo nobody who would like to harm the other one na ningeomba kama ni mambo ya mashamba please there is a system follow the system there is police to report to there is administration to report to and there is court kama kuna shida kuliko tuuane kama sasa ningeumiza mtu mbaya ama mimi ningeumizwa then now you see we, we can lose our people for nothing and there is a way of following these things if there is something in wrong i think that's what i can say for now but you have done good kuja kujua mambo ya ukweli from the other side and that's my story well ninajua mnapendaka sana hiyo mambo kujua kwa sababu <laughs> wakati buduki imetumika pa alipopote it, it must be, be checked kwa sababu lazima kuwe na ushuhuda they do their investigation in a good way and uh, i don't see any problem with that hata wakati nilinyaganywa bila sababu sirudi karudishwa na wao ndio walinitafuta kunirudishia so that is that's a procedure na i don't think there is any problem for that na si kusema hata saa hii pale niko siwezi kujilinda hapana naweza kujilinda Itaweza kujilinda sisi na kengine <laughs> but still i have my security hapa mbaye ni kijana very young very good boy kwa sababu kama hanga nilikia kuniangusha i think yo shoka ingenikuta so napongeza na pengine we, we need many people kama ni watu ya nini wakuwa wakisaidiwa kuwa na security i agree hata vile nasemekana mambo ya mcas wale walikuwa kakamega wanalia kwa kuweza kukua security i think it's very 